All right, for the next step, what we're gonna do is show you guys how to use a tool called Postman to interact with the Fire server. And right now on my screen, I have Google open. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and type in Postman. And it's the very first result that comes up. You can read the description. It's an API platform for building and using APIs. And once again, what we're gonna use Postman to do is to interact with a Fire API server so we can do something with those fire resources. If you think back to our example earlier, it's basically that clerk and we're gonna give that clerk some requisitions so we can once again do something with those fire resources. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this link. It's gonna take me to Postman. And the very first thing I'm gonna do, if you don't have an account, definitely create an account. Um, it's gonna take you, I'm already logged in uh, to my account. And once you're logged in, what we would wanna do is create a workspace. If you already have a workspace, you can actually use one, but I'm gonna start and show everyone how to create your own workspace. It's gonna be on here on the top left, click on workspace and click create workspace, give it a name, perhaps fire crud operations. And you can say this workspace is used for practicing fire. We can leave the defaults here uh, as they are. You can always make it private and personal if you wanted to later on, if you want to share it with the team. So go ahead and create team workspace. It's going to be just a second here. Then I'm going to go to my workspace. It's going to take me to another screen. You just exit out of this. And what I want to do is I'm on the overview tab. I wanna start a new request up here, and that's gonna be that plus button. And now we're all set up for the very next step. Um, and you have successfully created a workspace in Postman.